What is going on, guys? Dark Dead I here, and we're playing some Blacklight Retribution. Uh, this is a closed beta, but... Oh, I got headshot by some... God, that guy was annoying, man. Like, he just spent the whole round getting near a flag and just sniping. Like, his team lost, like, three or four times in a row. You'd think by now you'd say, okay, this isn't working, but no, nah, no. Nah, people are... People are more interested in kills. Fuck the team. Fuck winning. I just want to get some kills so I can get my KDR on. And yeah, as you can see there, I have a wall hack. Everybody has a wall hack. This game... If you like Call of Duty, I I don't see why you wouldn't like this game. It It's extremely fast-paced. You cannot camp in this game. I mean, you can camp, but... I just put my wall hack on and I can find you wherever the hell you are. I just have to look in that direction. You cannot hide from me. You cannot. I mean, you can use a, a jammer or a decoy, but for the most part, a site capture flags quickly. You have to play a numbers game where you match the numbers. We're playing Domination. Yep, just like Call of Duty, guys. Uh, except we're playing it with futuristic weapons that are not quite futuristic. And uh, wall hacks. I mean, guys, like, I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter or you follow uh, John, you know, John's fat cock and Cho joke here and there, and uh, I like men. But, um, you know, we, we've been just whooping and hollering about this game, like, for, I don't know, for I don't know how long. Like, it's just, this game is amazing. I mean, this is everything I want out of a shooter. It's, it's fast paced. And I have camper vision. Like, what more can I ask for? And also, if guys, if you have a PC, uh, it, it's free. This game will be free. Free to play. And you're saying, okay, free to play. I know that gimmick. Um, the, the, the dynamic is you can unlock everything without any money. You just uh, you use, um, like, the, the equivalent, the, like, you get points at, at the end of every game. You know, kind of like cash in uh, Call of Duty. And you just apply that to uh, unlocking weapons and stuff. And it, you basically rent them. But, like, I mean, every round I had enough to buy a completely different loadout. Like, weapon, armor, you know, sight, barrel attachment, like everything. You know, I had enough money to, like, completely re refit a new character. And I'm, like, halfway decent at this game. So, it's not really a big deal, you know. This game is probably going to be just fine for you. Like, if you don't want to spend any money, I think you'll just have as much fun as people spending money. I, I don't really think they're going to use that thing where if you if you pay money, you are you have extremely overpowered weapons and uh, nobody can touch you. It seems like it's just if you spend money, you can just jump right in the game and get everything you need ready to go, and you're good, you know. Instead of playing a couple matches, and the default weapons aren't that bad, like... You're not really starting... Uh, the assault rifle you start out with is fine. It works just fine. I mean, because any gun in this game can uh, get you a headshot. And I accidentally grabbed the hard suit, but that's okay because I want to tell you guys about it. This is uh, <laughs> this is, this is a lot of fun. You get in this big mech suit here, kind of like a big daddy in uh, Bioshock. And, um, yeah, you're, uh, you're someone not to be fucked with. Uh, there was a guy shooting rockets at me, and I didn't know where the hell he was. Now, before you guys, you know, like, oh, shit, well, just get 1,300 points and you're in god mode, right? No, not necessarily. This thing can, this thing is vulnerable to small arms fire. And every time you get into, into a hard suit, which is what I'm using right now, you have a breakdancing body <laughs> that distracted me. And I couldn't find the guy, because you don't have HRV when you have the hard suit. And I'm getting hit by rockets, and I can't find the fucker. But anyway, every time you uh, spawn in a hard suit, you have a random weak spot. And when you use the uh, the wall hack, the HRV, um, it'll the, the vulnerable spot will be, like, dark red. So you know exactly where to shoot, and any gun can, you know, do damage. And, and that's the balance. You also can't cap flags. So, what I like to do with the HRV on this map is hang around the B flag and just, uh, I'm like a distraction. I'm thinning out the numbers over in A and B. So, there's like two or three less guys because I can, I mean, I, I, I'm, 
I can deal with ones or onesies or twosies just fine like that. I mean, just boom, headshot with the uh, the hard suit cannon, which is like a sniper rifle, and the other one's like a, a, a minigun, but it has the it has to spin up before um, you know before it goes to work. But this game, I don't know, man. This this game is pretty fucking awesome. Like uh, the same guys that made uh, Black Light Tango Down, and they actually called it Black Light Black Light Redemption because they feel really bad for what happened with uh, you know Black Light Tango Down, and. It wasn't that they were, like, shitty developers or anything. It's just their publisher, you know, the guys that give them the, the, the front money and uh, hook them up with, uh, like, a distribu distribution and, like, the factories to make the CDs and everything. Well, they weren't really that interested in the game, and these guys worked their asses off to get a patch going, and they're just, like, publishers just, like, eh, we made our money. Forget it. Uh... Well, we might let you guys do another one. So these guys actually, you know, went to court and fought for the uh, intellectual property. They lost Blacklight Tango Down, the game, but they kept the lore and um, the IP that is this game. So this is their, uh, you know, this is the, this is their way of saying I'm sorry, and we're gonna try harder. And this time it's free. So if you don't like it. I mean, you might spend five bucks, but five bucks, man, that's like a trip to McDonald's or something, you know? Even like, even so, like, like even when this game was retail, like Blacklight Tango Down, when it was retail, this is, uh, by the way, this is a gun that shoots a flare that indicates where a uh, airstrike goes. I've never tried it on this map, so I just wanted to give it a shot. It's basically like a little beacon, and then uh, you see that stuff raining down. That's uh, that's the airstrike. Doesn't really work that well in this map. I've learned. But this is basically, you know, it's their just way of saying, all right, let's try again. And it's free to play. Free to play. So I think it's going to be great. I'm, I'm absolutely looking forward to this. And this is a really, really fun game. Like, um, when I get really frustrated with Battlefield, I hop back on here. And uh, I get a couple rounds out, down. And I start having fun playing video games. I, I start having fun again, like, instantly. Like, Every once in a while I get on a really bad team because a lot of these people don't know how to play this game. They don't realize that it, they, everybody has camper vision and they try to just play it like every other game. And they're just sitting around like I knowing that the fact that anyone can know where I am at any given moment, I like to move around the map. And um, I do pretty decent when I do that. I'm also helping out my team a lot. And I realized I didn't have a pistol and that's not good. So I... Um, Go ahead and drop that and try to get a kill at least out of it, but I didn't. That's not good. And basically, like, uh, in between rounds or whatever, uh, with your money, you can, um, like, if you notice I'm running really fast. I'm using light armor, and that basically, uh, it, it, it makes me, I only have, like, 160 health versus, uh, I think a heavy armor guy will have 200 health. But I can move around the map really fast, you know, so that's what I... And that's kind of like my play style. So I'm using a submachine gun so I can rush. And I'm just trying out this uh, little deployable turret here. And I'm using an aim point sight. I mean, there's so much customization in this game. Like, you got tons of sights, different barrel attachments. And a lot of this stuff actually impacts the way you uh, way things work. You also have, like, different kinds of rounds. Like, you have, like, toxic rounds that do, like, uh, damage over time. You have explosive rounds that, like... Make the guy like move around a little bit, like you know, it like makes your head bob. So you you lose uh, you know, you, you lose your uh, aim. And like electrical rounds, I think they short out your suit because everybody's wearing like uh, these like crazy technological suits. And I went back in here and I'm like, ah, rounds almost over. Time to farm some kills. I mean, it's not that hard, like really. For me to get a lot of kills in this game, but I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to win, so I, I kind of get left out. This dude Skrillex was just like fucking. He was going to work, like he got like 38 kills because he was hanging out in here just popping people. But you know, I I took it for the team and uh, I went ahead and uh, just went out there and uh, maintained a. And yeah, you can do little taunts and stuff when you hit the T button. And I found this really cool taunt. Like uh, once I figured it out. 
See what? I'm over on the on the right. Wait for it. Yeah, look at that. No, no, no. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.